In 2018, Jean-Philippe van Valleghem embarked on a crazy venture to save this old station, which was due for demolition. Hey, watch out, guys. We've got a train coming through. This retired salesman purchased the building for 70,000 euros with the intention of bringing it back to life. To do so, he voluntarily opens his doors to bus passengers. When are you traveling? Today. Now, to get to Bressuire today. Yep. I'm not sure you'll make it by nightfall. Anyway, take the bus from Pontivy around noon, OK? It arrives in Van at 1.15. Do you work for the French Railways? I'm a bit confused. No, I'm a train enthusiast, and I help people if they come in when the doors open. OK, see you then, Michel. Goodbye. Goodbye. Inside his station, Jean-Philippe doesn't only greet lost passengers, but also former railway workers curious to see what has become of their old workplace. I restored everything. Yes, I was just saying. Come into my office. Come on. Hello, Pontivy Station. Yes, hold on a sec. Is that Van Station? I was a replacement worker at Van, so I came here from time to time to stand in for the station master. Is this the first time you've been back? Yes, it is. And I didn't expect to visit the station like this. Led by Jean-Philippe's enthusiasm, the former employee recalls the old days in this office. I get the impression I filled this in. Take it. Take it home with you. No, keep it. It's a good souvenir. I have tons of them. Here, take Pont TV. At one time, there were 30 people working here. When I came here, the other 29 posts had been suppressed. But everything was still on the desks, as if they'd finished work the previous evening and left everything behind. It was weird. It was a bit like a museum. Is it for moments like this that you bought the station? Of course, we're, um, we don't know each other, but we talk like old friends because we're railwaymen. Exactly. Thanks for coming by. Come whenever you want. I will. This is your home. An encounter completely in line with Jean-Philippe's project to breathe new life into Pontivy Station. Bye. But the building needs a lot of renovation work. So Jean-Philippe has called on an architect. Careful. Always look left and right, there's traffic. To restore this 19th century station, the exterior will have to be identical. The front in brick and Tufo's stone, but also the windows and shutters. The building is listed as a remarkable building, so we can't do any old thing. That suits me just fine, because I want to restore it just as it was. Pontivy Station was constructed in 1864. It was part of a modernization project launched a few years earlier by the Emperor Napoleon III to make this town one of the major crossroads of Brittany. In the city of the New York, many streets remind the most glorious of the campaigns of the Empire. Et la gare conserve encore le souvenir du temps où Pontivy portait le nom prestigieux de Napoléonville. Sandrine, what do you think about keeping this system in the new apartment? That's not a good idea. <laughs> Upstairs are the old railway men's quarters. It's in a pretty bad state. Did you see these Espagnolettes? They're fantastic. They're in the original Napoleon style. To top up his savings and loan, Jean-Philippe is counting on renting out these four apartments to find the rest of the 800,000 euros needed for his project. Downstairs can stay as it is, as it will be open to the public and I want it to look like station. But upstairs, we need modern apartments, something beautiful. While waiting for the station to be renovated, Jean-Philippe regularly goes to Ludeac, 30 kilometers from Pontivy, to meet up with a club of enthusiasts who restore old locomotives. In the restaurant car, the mood is relaxed. Enjoy your meal. Jean-Philippe is banking on the club to create a tourist train, which would call in at his station. 
He has the station, but no trains. I'm counting on you guys to bring me passenger trains. I'm counting on you guys. It started out as a dream, I admit it, but now I'm really starting to believe in it. The project is still awaiting a number of authorizations, but it's on the right track. The club has this 1952 auto rail up and running, which stopped at Pontivy until the line was closed in 1987. This tourist auto rail, so hoped for by Jean-Philippe, could soon be calling in at his station once again.